Now that you are becoming more knowledgeable about anxiety, we encourage you to begin using a range of effective tools to systematically reduce unwanted worry and to better cope with the daily challenges you may face. One way to do this is to develop a personalized map, which stands for My Anxiety Plan. Just like a real map that guides us, the tools outlined in our individual map sections are intended to guide you when you are struggling to tolerate the unwanted sensations, urges, thoughts, feelings, and problematic behaviors that can occur with anxiety, specific anxiety disorders, and related conditions. The individual maps recommend following three steps, each with a list of important tools specifically designed to target key aspects of that anxiety or related disorder. Using the information in these steps can help you learn to float with stress and worry, rather than trying to change, control, or eliminate it. As well, these tools support increased tolerance of anxiety and healthy coping in a calm and mindful way. However, for some individuals, reviewing this page filled with so much information and so many tools can feel confusing or overwhelming. To help make this experience less stressful, we have created a session-to-session -session guide to help you understand how to choose from a variety of tools and apply these in a thoughtful sequence. This session-to-session -session guide is intended to walk you through how to learn all the necessary tools in a typical My Anxiety Plan, or MAP, starting with the first session, moving all the way through to the very last session. But before we proceed, there are a few questions that come up for individuals that we'd like to address. What's a session? How long does it take? Should I use all the tools? How many meetings do I need? This session to session guide uses the term session to describe either a single meeting in which you learn or practice the recommended material from beginning to end, or the total time it takes for you to learn those skills and recommended material. In other words, your session can occur in a single sit-down meeting or over the course of several meetings, each lasting 15 minutes, adding up to a total of about an hour. How many meetings you have will depend on your energy level, attention span, mood, and other factors specific to your learning style. As a result, a session may even exceed an hour. Each session has a main topic that you can learn about by using one or more tools. You can decide whether to use some or all of the recommended tools to help you understand the session topic and meet the overarching session objectives. But use only what you need. Once you believe you have enough knowledge from the session material, you will be ready to move on to the next section. Before we return to the session to session page to learn how to use the template map, a word of caution. Working through a map can be time consuming and stressful. This work can sometimes temporarily bring on strong feelings and changes that were not originally intended, such as you becoming more irritable and anxious or less engaged with people or your interests for a period of time. Therefore, it is important to ensure the benefits outweigh any potential drawbacks and that you are working hard to ensure doing this work is a success. For these reasons, we encourage you to seek outside care from a trained mental health professional whenever possible. We are now ready to walk through the four parts of a complete My Anxiety plan, starting with part one. The tools in part one provide general information that applies to all adults with anxiety and related problems. The objective of the sessions outlined here in part one is to help you become an expert in anxiety and to prepare you to make changes in how you deal with your anxiety as the program proceeds. For many individuals, this material can be delivered in one to two sessions and they may not need all three sessions spent on part one. If this happens, simply move on to part two. There may be other sections where you spend more than the suggested amount, so if you spend less time in this section, it will even out as you proceed through the other parts of the MAP program. Beginning in session one, you will learn all about the many ways anxiety impacts the individual. Take time to review the materials outlined in the sections. ABCs of anxiety, understanding how anxiety works. Anxiety 101. Anxiety 102. And when anxiety becomes a problem. In session one, there are no worksheets, whereas in other sessions, there will be worksheets you can use to further your learning of the various skills. This will vary session to session. In session two, you will learn about the science behind anxiety and what happens in the brain and body when we are anxious. 
Material outlined in the following sections will offer plenty of information to help you meet this section objective of becoming an expert on anxiety. In session three, like in session two, there is a lot of useful information that can benefit you throughout your time engaging in the Complete MAP program. Some individuals may prefer to take several weeks to implement these suggestions as they can provide a strong foundation as you begin to learn important anxiety management tools. Topics include accommodating anxiety, getting a good night's sleep, healthy eating, rewarding bravery, and others. When you believe you have a better understanding about anxiety and how it presents, from reviewing the tools and worksheets provided in part one, you can move on to part two. The tools listed in part two are behavioral, focusing on our actions. The objective over the course of the next three sessions will be to help you learn how to decrease unwanted physical signs of anxiety in the body by applying various relaxation tools. In addition, you will learn how to create a fear ladder, which will serve as a roadmap for making behavioral change through exposure therapy, an important tool you will learn about in future sessions. In session four, you will start learning to relax by learning how to use both calm breathing and progressive muscle relaxation to manage unwanted anxiety. If you prefer one relaxation tool more than the other, use the preferred tool. You do not need to use both tools. One is sufficient. Session five builds on the two learning to relax tools taught in session four. By practicing these tools once or twice daily, as well as during anxious episodes, you will become an expert on keeping calm. You will also be introduced to facing my fears, where you will learn all about having the courage to do exposure work. In session six, you will finish building a fear ladder, also called an exposure hierarchy, by using the fear ladder worksheet. Once you have your ladder, you can then rank the steps from least to most scary or hard. Don't be too concerned if it takes more than sessions five and six to complete the ladder. For adults with multiple areas of anxiety, you may need to create several ladders, and this can take time to complete. As you move forward into part three, you transition from behavioral into cognitive skills, where you will learn a variety of cognitive or thinking tools. These tools are intended to promote helpful thinking and increased confidence. The objective in part three is to learn about how thinking can impact anxiety, making it worse or making it better. You will learn a variety of thinking tools designed to reduce unwanted or excessive anxiety by changing the way you think about specific situations. Once again, if you get the point right away, you do not need to persist in learning all the additional tools if these seem unnecessary. Session seven introduces you to helpful thinking, which presents the concept of brain messages, teaching how negative automatic self-talk can increase anxiety. You will learn about the importance of monitoring situations that trigger anxious thoughts in recording and classifying my worry. Finally, you can select from various worksheets to record and understand your types of worry thoughts. Sessions eight and nine continue taking you through helpful thinking to learn steps three and four. You will become knowledgeable about how to evaluate, challenge and change your negative automatic thoughts. There are a range of tools to choose from depending on your specific needs, such as helpful thinking for panic disorder, managing obsessions, and cognitive coping cards, among others. As well, you can select from a variety of worksheets to help further your learning. As you move into the fourth part of your map, part four, you are ready to start the exposure portion of the program. However, if despite reading and learning the material in the prior three parts, you believe you aren't ready, it is good practice to return to earlier sessions and review past material so you are ready to move into the exposure portion of part four. The objective in part four is to learn to confront your anxiety through behavior change and to no longer let anxiety be the boss. You will learn through a gradual step-by-step -step process how to face your fears one by one, starting with tasks that are not too scary, working up to harder and more challenging tasks when you are ready. Session 10 includes various tools to provide you with information about how exposure therapy works. You will discover why avoidance, need for certainty, reassurance, safety behaviors, and partner-assisted rituals are all problematic ways of coping with anxiety. In addition, you will learn more information about facing my fears, including how to actually do the exposure portion of this program. 
Finally, you can learn how to include rewards as an important part of your map to help motivate and encourage you. Session 10 serves as a springboard into sessions 11 through 17. We have designated approximately seven exposure sessions to help you progress up your ladder or ladders. However, you may need more or less than this amount. So think this through and plan time accordingly to ensure you can fully engage in the exposure work. In addition to standard exposure work, we have also included other useful behavioral tools. Examples include habit reversal training and stimulus control for individuals with body-focused repetitive behaviors, hoarding tools, making sleep changes, and overcoming perfectionism. As mentioned earlier, you may be ready to use the tools and worksheets outlined here in sessions 18 to 19 before the 18th session, or not until later. However, when you are ready, this segment of part four is designed for individuals with specific exposure needs. Examples include exposure therapy for hoarding, OCD, panic, PTSD, social anxiety, and specific phobias. Session 20 is the only session in part five and marks the last session of the MAP program. Session 20 is designed to help you complete your hard work by reviewing what has been done and planning for the future. In this session, you will plan ahead using the Facing My Fears model to design a lifestyle ladder to keep you engaged in exposures on a routine basis. This can mean doing an exposure once every few days or planning once in a while exposures to prevent specific fears from creeping back in. In addition, this session reviews important information about relapse prevention and how to detect the difference between a lapse and a relapse. You will learn to identify your red flags and to develop a corresponding plan of action. This material also will guide you in how to continue practicing your tools into the future to prevent anxiety from trying to make a comeback. Finally, this session provides an important opportunity to celebrate your hard work and effort throughout this program. Some individuals like to mark this final session with a small celebration, such as making a cake, going out for dinner with friends and family, or doing a special activity together. Until now, we have spent time reviewing how to use a template map that corresponds with your specific anxiety or related disorder. However, a template map is only one option to aid you in bossing back unwanted anxiety. A second option is for you to create your own My Anxiety Plan. If you are unsure of what anxiety disorder or type of anxiety you have, you may want to create a personalized map by selecting tools from these categories. To make a personalized My Anxiety Plan or map, begin by selecting tools from the Starter Tools list. As with the template maps, Tools here are outlined in three steps. Step one highlights tools for helping you become an expert on anxiety and related problems. Step two informs you about your specific anxiety or related disorder. And finally, step three provides ideas about creating hope and optimism. After selecting tools from the starter tools list, you will link to universal tools. Here you will find a list of foundational cognitive behavior therapy tools outlined in four primary categories. These are educational or foundational, physiological or feeling, cognitive or thinking, and lastly behavioral or doing tools. The categories are listed in a recommended order, but proceeding in this order will depend on your needs and learning style. We suggest you choose tools from all four categories, but where to start is up to you. Individuals who are more action-oriented may wish to start with the doing tools, whereas those who view themselves as more of a thinker may prefer to start with the thinking tools. Consider how to organize your personalized map based upon how you best learn and what you most want to change. Finally, if you have some specific fears or faced with situations that challenge you in unique ways, tools listed in the optional tools section may be helpful. These tools include topics such as ERP for OCD, getting a good night's sleep, habit reversal training, overcoming perfectionism, and more. The final section to mention in this tutorial video is the session-to-session -session example of an adult map. This will provide you with an example of how a real map might look. 
we have created a map for a fictional 28-year-old female, Trina, with generalized anxiety disorder. You will be able to scroll down the sections in Session to Session example and see how all of the tools and worksheets come together to create a complete and comprehensive map. As you have heard, there are multiple ways to create a meaningful map to target your specific anxiety or related problem. We encourage you to take a little time to scroll through the materials in a leisurely way to review what is available and to see what appeals to you. Then, at a later date, return to the website when you are ready to sit down and begin in a more formal way. Thank you for taking the time to watch our instructional screencast. Have fun creating a map.